Hey folks, so here we are right in the middle of the summer of sci-fi and we've already shown you some fantastic things that you can pick up. However, we've still got some really cool things left to show you, so make sure you stay tuned for those. Now, what we haven't probably shown you is a little bit more in depth about what you get in some of the boxes. So I thought I'd start today with the Night Stalker Strike Force. As if you're new to Mantic Games or you're new to Firefight and you've never seen what you get inside one of these boxes, you might not realize just how flexible they are, how good the, the quality of the sculpts are, for example, the quality of the sprues, um, and just how kind of how you can mix and match certain things to make different units. So we're starting today with Firefight and the Night Stalker. So let's take this box, pop it down there so we've got a bit of space, and let's look to see what you get inside. Now, as you can see, it is jam-packed full, he checks all the cameras there, jam-packed full of sprues and bases and some resin upgrades and things like that. So let's go through them all and I'll show you in depth just what you get and what you can make from each of these things. So I'll put them to one side. We'll start with these two sprues here. And these sprues are basically, these are the two for the Void Touched. Uh, and the two identical sprues, each of them make five different models as well. Um, and you can see here, there's one of the models, which is the leader model here with what they call the dorsal limbs. You know, like um, basically these kind of like sort of spiky talons, if you like, on the shoulders. Um, if you're making them as two separate units of five, you can use those two as your leader models. If you're making them as one unit of 10, you can always just clip those off and keep that for your leader model. But I'm sure you can see under the uh, camera here, I'm sure I'll have some nice close-ups when I come to edit this later. <laughs> he says, telling future Andy. Um, you can see that we've got some uh, really nice sculpts on these. Uh, lots of detail on here. And these are kind of, um, these are creatures that have been touched by the void as, uh, as the name would suggest. And they've become all manner of twisted kind of uh, creepy creatures. So, you get two of those. Those come on, um, yeah, look for a bit of space here. Those come on 25 mil bases, so you will also get uh, one of these with the bases ready for them. So next up in the box, we have two sprues here, which will uh, make you the Butcher models or the Ravager models. And of course, because they're a kind of there, um, they're an option sprue, you could either make one unit of three butchers and one unit of three ravagers, or you could make a six model unit of butchers or a six model unit of ravagers. The choice is entirely yours. And as with everything here, because of this, they have now come across in a firefight, there's also a resin upgrade pack as well that basically allows you to do some of those. Um, some of those upgrades. Now starting with the butchers, the, the butchers basically have a leader model and that, that leader model can have, um, he says, check his sheet, a dread hammer. Um, and the dread hammer is part of these resin upgrades as well. And I'll show you obviously on the screen here what that looks like, uh, but they're really, really crisp, very, very cleanly done. And uh, once they're on the models, they do look fantastic. And then the rest of your butcher models, um, the, the sort of the main troop ones, will have what are known as dread blades. And as you can see on here, there are things like sort of big axes, maces, um, all manner of kind of swords and knives and things like that. So there are also some lovely um, different uh, sort of sort of little sort of basin pieces and things like that, little bits of rocks, bits of broken scenery and things. So yeah, lots of different uh, bits and pieces on these sprues. Beautiful quality, probably I would say up there with our best, if not the best of, of, of the kind of the, the recent stuff that we've been releasing. Um, yeah, so that is your butchers. If you come to, to make them into ravagers, those are the ones that have really been kind of sort of, um, they've been touched by the void. They have been uh, warped in some strange ways. Uh, and what you can do with those is you can make the leader model, which has a void cannon, which is one of the resin upgrades here. And again, I'll show you these up in nice, some nice close actions here, uh, nice close camera shots. Um, and they fit beautifully to the um, to the to the plastic sprues there. Uh, and you can also make the troop, which is basically like the the core of the Ravager models, and they can have void blasters. And that's the kind of things like these arms here that have been kind of um, warped and uh, and been touched by the void there. So yeah, that's what we've got for those. So those are your butchers and your Ravager models. And again, you can kind of, you can, uh, because they're flexible kits, you can build them how you'd like to. Now the butchers or the ravagers there, they come on these 40 millimeter bases. So there are six 40 millimeter bases for those as well. 
Next up, we've got another plastic sprue, this time for the Reapers. And this sprue will allow you to make five of the Reapers. Uh, you can either have them with Wicked Talons or Tormentor Talons. Um, they're the same thing on the, uh, on the actual sprue itself. But you just equip them differently in your list. Um, and again, I'll get some nice close-ups. Again, these are beautiful, uh, really nice, high quality, really sharp, sort of crisp sculpts and sprues themselves. These ones are in a few parts, so do just be careful. If you'll have a look there, there is, um, there's letters and numbers on these to make sure that you attach the right things together. So for example, there's an A2 there, a B6, um, an F12. So make sure when you're clipping these out, just take your time and, uh, and make sure that you uh, put the relevant parts together for these. Uh, and again, these ones actually come on 40 millimeter bases as well. So in the box here, there are five 40 millimeter bases for those two. Next up in the box, we've got some more plastic sprues. And this time, these are the ones that will allow you to make the scarecrows or the spectres. And there's enough here to make 20 of those or 10 of each if you so wish. So let's have a little look at here. Now, one thing that's uh, been mentioned online is some folks really like that scarecrow aesthetic um, and think it looks sort of suitably creepy. Some folks are not as keen and think that scarecrows maybe don't belong in that sci-fi world. Now, what I can say is, whichever way you prefer to go, you can go that way because there are 12 different head options on a five model sprue. So if you don't want any of that scarecrow kind of stuff and you want the more kind of tormented, sort of um, monstrous looking faces, you can absolutely use those. And if you're into that uh, scarecrow aesthetic, there's enough here and across the different sprues, you can make sure that you've got plenty of those in your units as well, especially if you're using half as spectres and half as scarecrows. So yeah, you've got some flexibility in that. And that was one of the things I wanted to kind of show. So you can see on the sprue here, five different legs here, five different torsos, lots of heads all the way around the outside here, and then different weapon options. So if you're building these as scarecrows, they have them, um, the weapon option here is the dread sides. And if you're building them as the spectres, there's more the kind of the creepy arms with the kind of the, the void touched kind of glow around them and that sort of thing. Again, really nice sprue, very nicely um, sculpted and, um, and manufactured. Lots of different options in there as well to keep them all looking a little bit different. And again, of course, you get four of these sprues to give you 20 models. And of course, the way the units are built out, you can build them as a unit of 20 scarecrows, you can build them as a unit of 20 spectres, or you could have 10 of each. And again, these come on a 25 millimeter basis. So there's a couple of sprues there as well for bases. Now getting onto some of the other stuff. Now we do have a resin model in this pack, which is the, um, the command model. Uh, and that is the horror and Again, this comes on a 25 millimeter base. So we've got an extra base in there for it. Um, and again, we'll get some nice close-ups. But this comes in two parts here, the main body up <laughs> and the head as well. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get some nice close-ups of that one. But uh, this is your command model. This is the one that's going to lead your Night Stalker troops into battle. And, and last but certainly not least is this beast called the Terror. And it comes as a, as a kind of a, a hybrid kit. So some of it is in um, PVC plastic, which is very nicely um, molded and uh, produced. And then there are some resin upgrade parts for it as well. And it comes on a nice chunky 80 millimeter base. So you can see here the main chunk of it comes and if you can pop, the, <laughs> I don't wanna see it arms, but let's, let's be honest, they're not really arms. The front kind of tentacles onto it there. That will come on there. And then we've got these resin parts as well, which just slot straight in there, nice and clean, and kind of going towards that. And then they will just pop onto your base. Uh, we've also got some uh, extra kind of tentacles there as well that go into the face. And we've also got the big face part there as well, which goes on at the front where all faces should be. So yeah, this is a nice uh, nice big centerpiece model for your army. And of course, we'll have some better pictures rather than me showing you me fumbling around. We'll have some nice pictures of, of how that looks all together. And that's what you get inside the box. I think you'll agree there's a whole host of stuff in there. Off the top of my head, there's around 800 points uh, in this box. 
which will sort of giving you options when you're in your list builder, being able to kind of max it out on certain weapons and things like that, upgrade your leader models. There's about, off the top of my head, about 800 points. So you're well on your way to, um, uh, to get into like sort of an 1,000 point army if that's what you're heading to. You can certainly play this game at 800 points, but we kind of think the sweet spot for, for, for good size armies and lots of choices is probably around 1,000 points. So you're probably one of these boxes away from taking that um, taking that strike force up to a thousand points. So let me know what you think in the comments. Are these videos useful to you? Do you like to see what's in the box? Are you not the slightest bit concerned about what's in the box and you just want to pick them up and get building them yourself? Let me know if there's anything you really want to see and I'll do my best to try and make sure that you get that. So from me, Andy at Mantic Games, I'll say bye for now and I'll see you in the next video.